and welcome to more EVE Online tutorials. This one's going to be on labs and blueprints and the last video will be on player-owned stations because they're connected. So I've got a lot of good feedback from doing my industry video series, video, uh, tutorials on industry and EVE Online and so I'm absolutely going to do a tutorial on labs. So this is uh, on blueprints and how to use blueprints and how to research blueprints etc. You don't have to watch the other one first because I'm going to make this a self-contained uh, tutorial so it's gonna I'm gonna go through all the basics of blueprints again so it'll be a nice review if you've already seen my previous series on uh, industry and the blueprints in industry. So what are blueprints? Blueprints I've got a few of them in front of me right here so these blue square things. There are two kinds of blueprints in the game. There are originals and there are copies. I guess I should find a copy for you. Um, here is a copy. So here's a module. So this is a blueprint copy. The difference between copies and originals is you cannot, uh, or copies have a uh, limited a n number of runs, meaning that you can only build with the blueprint so many times. Let me go through all this, uh, the specifics of each blueprint here. So each blueprint will have a material level, both original and copy. Each blueprint will have a wastage factor. I'll get more into that a little bit later. Um, each blueprint will, I guess this is a little bit new. It'll say whether you can copy, whether it is a copy or not, although it says up here, so I don't know why that's needed. Uh, productivity level, uh, each will have that. Uh, it'll have the number of runs remaining as well as the number of runs that you can possibly have on a copy. So an original can be copied into and when you finish that process you get back the original and the copy. So it produces a copy. This number here tells you the number of runs a copy can possibly have on it because you can specify. I could copy, uh, if I had the original this, of this blueprint, um, I could copy it with one run and it would make a copy that has one run on it if I wanted to I could do that or the max I could do is 300 and that'll be the number of times this blueprint can be run and so it since each time it runs it produces one it says right here produces one of this item then if I ran it 300 times it would make 300 of those items so all blueprints also have material costs so this is the material costs the the minerals it requires to uh, it to make one of these items or to or per run this is per run um, as well as if it can not all copies can be invented but there's the invention stuff and I'll get to that later not right now though um, so blue these are blueprints in the game there's originals and copies uh, how do you get blueprints you can buy originals on the market from an NPC and they're listed on the market here you see how these are all set prices and quantity 14 that means they're coming from an NPC in the game it's a set price you can buy so these are all blank which means that there's zero ME material level and zero productivity level that means they're blank uh, you can get them that are already worked and what that means is that they've already got some material level researched in them as well as some productivity level researched on them and those you get off a contract and those will be from some other person some player in the game he'll have research he'll have bought an original or bought it from somebody else he'll have researched it up and then he's gonna put it back on contract to sell and you can do that too if you want to I've never done that I've always bought blueprints for my own purposes but you can buy a blueprint research it and then sell it back that's perfectly fine and people do that to make money um, so uh, you cannot work on a copy so when you research there's there's lab slots that you put these blueprints in just like in manufacturing you use a blueprint in manufacturing to make whatever item it makes you cannot copy a copy copies can only be done on the original okay now I'm gonna do a, a bit more information on these specifics now that we have an overview of what blueprints are and what they're for so here's material level this is a number that reduces the wastage factor shown right below it here. Uh, different kinds of items that have blueprints have different base wastage factors. 
So for example, I believe ships have 10% waste. Actually, I guess I should find out. Let me just quickly find out here. Go to uh, original. 10% on ships, uh, but it's a little bit different for other things like, uh, for example, try a rocket launcher here. Oh, they're 10%. I think there are some differences, but let's, so 10% is, let's say it's most of them. Uh, the wastage factor uh, follows an equation. And what that equation is, and maybe I'll put it here in a little dialog box in the video, is the wastage factor as a percent is divided into one plus the material level. So if you can just keep that in your mind for a second, wastage factor, so let's say it's 10%, that's 0 0.1, 0 0.1 over one plus the material level. Let the material level zero, original blueprint, is gonna take 10% more minerals to build. Now, if you had a material level of one, that's gonna be your wastage factor, so 0 0.1 still, divided into one plus one meaning two at the bottom of the equation, meaning half. Your wastage factor is now only 5%. So how it, so the very first ME reduced it by half. So that's how the equation works. So eventually, you're gonna get down to a material level in which reducing the wastage factor any further is not beneficial, or it's not worth the time to put it into a lab. And so if we keep doing this, ME1 is a half, ME2 is a third, ME3 is a quarter, ME4 is a fifth. This is all the wastage factor after you've done that, Con assuming a 10% wastage factor, because like I said, there are some types of objects that have a different wastage factor than just that. I'm pretty sure it's not just 10% for everything. Um, so eventually it's not gonna be worth it for two reasons. Uh, first reason is, and I'll show you an example. Okay, here's a better example. So here's a capital ship. Notice the quantities of the materials are fairly low. 35 is the most. Material level I've, for this thing I've got is 2. And that reduces the wastage to 3.3%. 3.3% of 35. Well, what is that? Well, 10% of 35 is 3.5. 3.3% might be one, and it is, I'm pretty sure. So that means that I've got it right now. Um, my only waste is one cargo bay. Um, to reduce it to no waste at all, I think it's ME8. Right, or, and the reason I call it ME is it's sometimes called material efficiency as opposed to material level. I think it might be eight, so it's not worth doing. Because you have to consider material level research costs time. Here it is right here. To research one ME level on this blueprint is one month, 26 days, if you're unskilled. I'm skilled and you can consider me maxed out. It takes me a one month and 12 days. Now, there's another modifier on that that reduces it even further and that's, that's private labs, but I'm gonna get to that later. So it's even less than that. Uh, but still, it's going to take about a month to research each ME level. Is it worth me putting this in a lab for six months to get it down to no waste? It is not worth it. That's why I did not. So it's not, you do, it's not an ideal. You don't necessarily need to crank this up all the way to zero waste. Only certain blueprints, is that even attainable in your lifetime? For example, the ideal, it's, it's sometimes called the ideal ME level, which means there's no waste on a battleship. I think it's a couple hundred ME level. It might even be more than that. It might be a thousand ME level before you get a perfect. And the reason that is, is because look, it takes 405,000, or no, let's go this one. It takes 1.6 million tritanium each. And how are you gonna get that down when you got a wastage factor a point two. You can figure that out for yourself. What's point two of this? It, it'll take a long time to get that to the ideal ME. So there has to be some trade-off. Okay, PE. Uh, productivity level is the time it takes to manufacture the item. Uh, so each of these 
uh, with ME and PE have a time in the lab. So there's nine hours for each, oh no, two days, two hours for each uh, uh, time that you want it. That's called time efficiency as well. Productivity level or time, uh, time efficiency. That's that one there. Um, same with copy. Copy takes time. There it is there, but I'll get more into that a little bit later. Okay, talked about that. Okay, lab slots. 